What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be taking an in-depth look at my Roman Reigns Elite figure collection. Yes, I did say Elite. We will not be taking a look at any Roman Reigns basics. I do have quite a number of those, but that is not what this video is for. This is all about the Elites. We have 12 of them right here. I do have one more Elite Roman Reigns, but it is currently being worked on on my workbench. I'm doing a custom Roman Reigns that will not be in this video, so we won't be looking at that one, but we do have 12 right here, and what I'm going to do, just like my other Elite Collection videos, I'm going to start with the first one and then go all the way through, taking a in-depth look at the figure, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, you know, telling you about it and everything, so what we're going to do is go ahead and get started. Alright guys, starting things out first, we do have the first ever Elite Roman Reigns, and this is Elite 26, and I think they did good for the first time around, you know, they think they captured Roman Reigns likeness in his head. I think it's one of his better head scans. Um, I think I see a lot of people use this head scan for a man bun. I think people remove the hair and sculpt a man bun on there. Um, I need to get BEW to make me one of those. Um, I am actually a pretty big fan of Roman Reigns and his work in the ring. So I wish that uh, you know I could get that head scan made to do more Roman Reigns figures. So I will be getting that done eventually. But for these arms, you can use uh, you know these for a promo Roman as well. You can use these arms because they are blank. There's no painted on gauntlets, no painted on gloves. So if you wanted to do that, you could. The tactical vest is not as nice as his uh, later ones. So this is definitely his first vest. That he rocked, and I am not the biggest fan of it. However, the legs are the same. You have those same shield legs that he has always rocked in his career. But yeah, that is the first ever Elite Roman Reigns, and I think that Mattel did a pretty solid job. Up next, we do have the Elite 33 Roman Reigns, and this one is a lot better as far as attire, in my opinion. However, I think they took a step backwards on the head scan. I think the first head scan on Elite 26 is a lot better than the Elite 33. So I hope when this figure released, people did do head swaps because... Yeah, this one's just not cutting it for me. I think that it looks a little odd in my opinion. But I do like this uh, shield vest a lot better. You have the shield logo right here. And this is a different, uh, different version, more of an updated Roman Reigns uh, shield vest um, than that first one. But we do have the gauntlets as well on here with the gloved hand. And um, so you couldn't, uh, unless you did a hand swap, I don't think you could use that for a promo range because, you know, these gauntlets are removable, but you'd still have the problem with that hand. Um, of course, always the same legs. And um, this figure did come with the Tag Team Championship belt because the Shield were the Tag Team Champions at that time. But, um, yes, moving on to the next Roman Reigns. Up next, we do have the Elite 38 Roman Reigns. And I did do a head swap with this one. The first one is just awful. It's like a gritty head scan. Like he's like grinning, but he's angry. Or like he's taking a massive dump. I don't know what it is, but it's just awful. And I used mine to uh, do a uh, Jinder Mahal custom. It looked more like Jinder Mahal. I removed the hair. Got BEW to, you know, do some sculpt work. And it looks fantastic. Looks just like Jinder Mahal now. So that is what I did with that head scan. I don't even know where this head scan is from. I remember uh, this is one of the first figures that I got when I started. Started um, collecting WWE Elite figures, and I just bought a random rant, uh, Roman Reigns head scan off of Facebook, and yeah, I just popped it on here. So that was just one of the first things that I did as a WWE figure collector. I didn't really know what I was doing, so I just went and popped it on there. I've never seen this head scan again, honestly, but um, I believe it's a basic or a battle pack head. But in the figure, we do have the white Roman Reigns vest. This is the first Elite where it's his signature vest with his logo on there. And it is pretty massive. It's bigger than his later Elites. Um, the logo would get smaller. But we do have the gauntlet uh, hand. does have the Roman Reigns logo on there as well. And the gauntlets are again uh, added on there. Not painted on quite yet. Nothing on the back of the vest. And the pants are always the same. But yeah, I am happy with this Roman Reigns. Uh, I remember I went to Toys R Us and picked it up. But yeah, moving on to the next one. Up next, we have another Elite Roman Reigns, and it is the Elite 45. And this time, the logo is shrunken down, and it is a silver color. And on the back, we have this light blue and more light blue, sort of grayish bluish color on the back of the vest, which I think looks pretty nice. We did get a brand new Roman Reigns head scan, which is probably the best one to this day. You could debate between it and the Elite 51. But, um, yes, I do love this Roman Reigns head scan. One of my favorites, definitely. Probably one of my favorite head scans that Mattel's ever done, period. And in the gauntlets, we have the same Roman Reigns logo here. Same gauntlets and same legs. So not a very big difference between this one and the last one besides the head scan and the vest. So we are moving on, but I do like this figure. 
Up next, we do have this Network Spotlight Roman Reigns, and this is based off his 30, WrestleMania 32 match with Triple H where he captured the WWE Championship and probably one of the most boring and just awful WrestleManias ever besides maybe two or three matches. Um, not a very memorable WrestleMania besides a few uh, spots. Uh, he took a face plant there. But this is his gold colorway. Again, This is, I believe this is the first Roman Reigns Elite that had the painted on gauntlets. As you see, he's got the gold here and over here which looks terrific the vest does it sort of looks silver on camera but it is gold you have the gold uh logos here details on the back and sides of the vest which i like um, i think this is probably one of his best attires that he ever rocked uh same head scan and legs as from all of his other elites well the head scans from elite 45 but the legs are always the same so we're moving on up next, we have four different versions of Roman Reigns, and I put these all together because they're basically all the same, just different color vests. So you have the orange on the left, which I believe is from Class of Ch Clash of Champions 2016, where he fought Rusev and won the United States Championship. The brown one in the middle, I cannot remember where he wore that attire, but it is from that uh, basic or battle pack with AJ Styles. The one on the right there is the red attire that he wore during his United States Championship run in the Battle Pack with Rusev. And the one on the far right is the Elite 51 figure all the way through. We did get the newer head scans in this Battle Pack here. In the red one here you have um, this head scan, which this is the debate that people have between these two head scans. Which one do you like more? In my opinion, I feel like this one takes the cake, but I do enjoy this one a lot as well. I think the smirking one is nice. You know, it's that, you know, promo sort of smirk he does all the time. But um, I do love the orange attire. I think it looks really great. Um, the red and the light blue look amazing as well. Not a huge fan of the brown, but I love collecting Roman Reigns figures, and I just love Elite. So I always, um, anytime a new Roman comes out, I do a vest swap and an arm swap or whatever it takes, and I get an a, Elite of the version. But um, I know we are missing a few. I want to get um, his WrestleMania 33 um, with Undertaker. That is a definite one. I want to get his, you know, black on black where it's like... Uh, like a shiny black on the matte black or whatever it was. And I do want to get the SummerSlam and the No Mercy as well. So there are quite a few that I need to catch up on, but I will be getting those done. But yeah, not much to these except for head scans and, you know, vest swaps. Some details in the gauntlets. But yeah, let's move on to more Roman Reigns. Up next, we have this Custom Elite Fast Lane 2017 Roman Reigns and probably the best attire that he's ever worn to the ring. He fought Braun Strowman at that pay-per-view, and I do love this custom. I made this myself, and we are getting this in Elite 56, which kind of sucks in my opinion just because, you know, I did work hard on this custom. But I guess now that that's releasing, maybe I can just, uh, maybe I can just maybe turn this into a different Roman Reigns. I guess that's the only option I have, but, um... Turning it around, you do have the white on the back here. You have the white on the gauntlets as well. I do need to paint over that Roman Reigns logo, but um, have the white on the gauntlets there. The white on the boots. These He wore these Nike uh, canvas boots to the ring, which look amazing. I even thought about picking up a pair to wear myself. Um, I am actually a sneaker head. I do love shoes, so um, probably will be doing that. You have the white Roman Reigns logo there, and I did paint the beard on there, which um, I hope we get a sculpted beard um, I don't remember if the beard is sculpted for Elite 56, but I hope in the future we get, you know, a long beard uh, Roman Reigns head scan on a basic or a battle pack. So this is probably one of my favorite Romans in my collection. Um, it is a personal custom, so I'm pr it's probably near and dear to me just because, you know, I put effort into it. But now we can move on to the last Roman Reigns. And last but not least, we have this Roman Reigns right here that is this shield fix-up that's more of like a current day Roman Reigns. Um, I did do a video on how to make this Roman. We have that Elite 45 head scan, the Elite 51 arms, and I believe I used the Elite 26 Roman Reigns body because I had an extra one laying around. So I went ahead and converted it, and I think it does well for a current day Roman Reigns. Um, I hope that he gets back in the ring soon. I know he is still sick. Um, I'm not sure what the timetable is for his return, but I hope it is soon because, you know, the big dog's got to be on WWE TV. I do miss the man. Um, it's sort of good, you know, maybe this will help him, him being gone, you know, sort of make it where people miss him when he comes back. Probably not, let's be real, people hate him. But I am, uh, I will be happy when he does return because I am a fan, so um, I am looking forward to that. But now we can uh, finish up this video. So here we have all of the Roman Reigns lined up again. 
Um, Roman Reigns, the big dog. Uh, I am actually a fan of him. I know a lot of people can't stand him, but I think that he is very talented in the ring. Of course, he does need to get better on the mic instead of just using some cuss words or whatever. Um, but I think he is pretty good in the ring. He has a lot of great matches in his career. He has the look and everything. I don't know if he deserves the push that he gets. Probably not, but, you know, it is. I mean, what are you going to do? You're still going to watch WWE anyways, but... That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what your favorite Roman Reigns from this collection is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.